Hey guys, so I hope you guys can see this video good. Um, I'm in my car, obviously, and it's nighttime, obviously. But got to work early, so I thought that I would go ahead and record this. If you guys watched, if you guys watched my weight loss series, then you know that um, last week I went to the doctor and I had some blood work done. And if you watched my most recent one that was uploaded, then you know that um, I hadn't been eating too good because I was having stomach issues. I don't know. It was just it hurt to eat. So I mentioned it to the doctor, and she tested it for. H. pylori and so they called today to tell me that the test came back positive so apparently it's very common it's a bacteria in your stomach um, you get it from food and apparently it's it's extremely common most people just never get symptoms from it or when people do get symptoms from it they diagnose it with acid reflux because it causes a lot of acid reflux um, symptoms or apparently thyroid problems and I'm constantly being tested for thyroids and I'm like it's not my thyroid but apparently it aligns itself in your stomach lining and it neutralizes itself in the acid and it does something else and it gets your body to like produce cortisol which can make you gain weight or lose weight with no explanation and so it has a lot of the symptoms are thyroid symptoms and a lot of the symptoms are acid reflux symptoms too so I've been doing a little bit of research on it and I will update you guys as I go they put me on three medicines I haven't picked them up yet and I think they're all three antibiotics and one thing that I have read is these three medicines together make you really sick. I'm not looking forward to that. Which antibiotics, I mean, that's... Antibiotics are like an issue in their self. But, I don't know, I'm super nervous about it. And I have decided that I'm not taking antibiotics until Monday. I'm not going to start them until Monday. So, figure I've already gone this long with it. What's three more days and I have a busy weekend plan so I don't want to like just be miserable so I'm gonna start Monday and I have to be on these for two weeks so I'm nervous really nervous about it and then I'm gonna look into some other things too as well I don't like taking medicine but my vitamin D was also low and so they have me doing a lot, 2,000 um, IUDs a day, and then 50,000 a month. Um, so, and then I have to go back in three months and have that retested. She's supposed to call me back tomorrow. H. pylori is apparently really contagious, but most people don't get symptoms from it does cause stomach ulcers and also can cause stomach cancer so it is good to get treated and um, what I've read was most people who end up having stomach cancer do end up testing positive for this so tomorrow just out of precaution I'm gonna take my kids to the doctor and have them test it for it, especially my youngest because he complains of his stomach hurting a lot when he eats so I don't know it's just it's weird and they say like three out of four people have it, but very few people are ever diagnosed with it. So I don't know. Anyway, so I wanted to give an update on that. Hopefully I can take these medicines and this stuff will clear up and this ugly stomach bacteria that has decided to reside in my stomach can leave and I can lose weight and I can start feeling amazing again because I've just been beat for the longest time. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I will update. I will do an update. And um, kind of let you guys know how I'm doing. How I'm taking the medicine. What exactly they have me on and everything tomorrow once I pick it up. So, I'll probably update in a few days. But, 
If you guys are having any weird symptoms, stomach symptoms, I didn't even think of it. And I work in a lab. But when she said it and I looked it up, I was like, wow. I got had most of the symptoms except for two. So if you're having issues, if you're having stomach issues or whatever, and you just really can't seem to get it under control and the doctors are stumped and they say it's one thing but medicine for that one thing's not working have them test for this because like I said it's apparently very common and a lot of people have it and it obviously gets misdiagnosed a lot I also found some great videos on YouTube about it so that's just my little dealings with it so far like I said I'll keep updating you guys but anyway I'm gonna go I'm expecting somebody to come. I don't want to get busted. Recording. Uh, like a silly person. In my car. In the dark. So yeah. Anyway. I'm out. Y'all have a great day. Have a blessed day. Great night. If it's night time where you are like it is here. Anyway. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.